Instead, we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves and each other. I've added the uh, Brock's 2004 DNC speech uh, at the end here. And in his speech, again, he never talked about empathy, but he talked about unity. And, you, and again, as we've seen from uh, previously, that when he talks about unity, he's really talking about empathy and the uh, unity that, that comes out of people caring and empathizing with each other. For alongside our famous individualism, there's another ingredient in the American saga, a belief that we're all connected as one people. If there is a child on the south side of Chicago who can't read, that matters to me even if it's not my child. If there's a senior citizen somewhere who can't pay for their prescription drugs and having to choose between medicine and the rent, that makes my life poorer even if it's not my grandparent. If there's an Arab-American family being rounded up without benefit of an attorney or due process, that threatens my civil liberties. It is that fundamental belief, it is that fundamental belief, I am my brother's keeper, I am my sister's keeper, that makes this country work. It's what allows us to pursue our individual dreams and yet still come together as one American family. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. Now, even as we speak, there are those who are preparing to divide us. The spin masters, the negative ad peddlers, who embrace the politics of anything goes. Well, I say to them tonight, there is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. See the world through other people's eyes. Now, empathy is a quality of character that can change the world.